local for us this morning. Good morning, Ginger. Hey, good morning to you. So Greenville, Mississippi was 90 last Thursday, record high. Yesterday morning, 28, a record low, all within the space of Pennsylvania. But it's not going to last long. We are right back on the roller coaster on the way up again into above normal temperatures. And look at Dallas-Fort Worth, back in the low to mid 80s, New York City by Monday above average in the 60s, George. Okay, Jim. But for now, we'll talk about that jet and the atmospheric river that's been piling into the Pacific Northwest, and that's why more than 15,000 customers in Washington State were without power earlier this week, and now we've got more. This is very normal for this time of year to be pounding the Pacific Northwest, but we do have flash flood watches up and wind alerts up all of coastal Washington and Oregon, so watching into the weekend for that and some heavy rain. Your local weather in 30 seconds. She has more on the jet stream as well. They said we want to learn about the jet stream. I was like, <laughs> yes, let's Go do it. it. Uh, <laughs> the jet stream is that fast moving tunnel of wind between 30 and 40,000 feet up. We have the jet because there's a huge difference in temperature between the cold poles and the hot equator. And this time of year, that temperature difference is growing. So it is always faster in the fall and into the winter. It makes the jet faster. So average jet speed 80 to 140. But lately, it's been more than 200 miles per hour over the Atlantic. And it shape and position has been perfect. A straight shot given those transatlantic flights a big boost in a tailwind. So why isn't it happening over the U.S.? Because our jet, well, you felt it, 80 to 20, right? It's been wavy instead of straight. If you wanted to utilize that, you'd have to go like Seattle, Dallas, New York. It doesn't make a ton of sense. Meteorologists at the FAA know this and they know it's like a GPS. You find the fastest route with the least stuff in your way. It's and we, we want nothing to stand in the way of G&G. &G. More? <laughs> and I've got more superhero <laughs> yeah, poses more ready. Poses. Like, more poses, yes. <laughs> thank you, Ginger, and thank you, Gio. And coming up... Coming up, Tori Johnson is back with deals and steals devoted to holiday entertaining. And chef and podcaster Allison Roman answering your questions about having a stress-free Thanksgiving. From cooking that turkey to the sides and so much more. You don't want to miss that. Plus your local news and weather. They're next. Hey, fall is always the time, Juju, that we ride that roller coaster of temperatures, but it is extremely high and extremely low. We went from record highs last week to now record lows this morning, and it's all because that jet stream is dynamic. Look at Alexandria, Louisiana, dropped to 27 as of yesterday morning. Trenton, New Jersey was the same, and now we're going to start to warm things right back up to above average. So even Dallas, after such a cold, you know, cold New York City, will go into the 50s, and then by Monday low to mid 60s, so we'll be above average, Rebecca. Wow, layer season. Okay, Ginger, thank you. And Rebecca, thank you. I don't know if you all saw this, but just early fall, we start 7%. Pretty good. All right, let's get a check down a little closer to home. Hey, Disney's newest animated film, Wish, is headed for theaters later this month. We cannot in right now. Let's get a check down a little closer to home. It's quite a lineup. Plus, we also have Robin's one-on-one -on -one with Dolly Parton next week. But you know what? We have to wish good luck to our runners this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Definitely Rebecca Ginger and our EP, Simone Swink. Yeah, you they're going to be out there good running. Luck, guys. Are we ready? Yeah. Are you pre-gaming? I'm already preparing Horrible ice. Horrible loading. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's gorgeous weather. It right. could not be better that way. Happy